Welcome everybody. I'm Matt Erickson with Crispy and we have a special guest. We have uh, Kendall Card here with Black Ovis. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the new Gator that we're launching. We are super stoked on this Gator. And it's, it's been a long, awesome. yeah, it's been a long time coming. Uh, we've been working on it uh, behind the scenes for for a few years, and uh, we're excited to bring it out. And Kendall, I know you had an opportunity to wear the the Gator, particularly the short Gator. Yep, the Corto. I yep, used that Corto. about three weeks ago on a scouting trip. Awesome, awesome. And I also know that you have a vast experience in wearing Gators uh, over the last you know, two decades or whatever. So what I wanted to do today is I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that, some of that experience wearing the gaiters, um, what you like, what you don't like about gaiters, and then dive in a little bit more about this uh, Corto and the Alto and, and get your thoughts on that. For so sure. Tell me a little bit of some of your experience that you've had with gaiters. So I I started, I mean, I'm 52. When I was nine, when I was like 16, I started teaching skiing. Uh, up on Mount Hood, and I would see all the mountaineers like climbing the mountain, and that that like started me an interest in mountaineering. So when I first got into mountaineering is when I, my first experience with gators, like back thirty years ago. Right. Um, I still remember my first pair. I blew out that first pair like three or four times. This uh, this piece on the bottom. Yeah. Um, had them repaired. I think I had that pair repaired and stitched like three or four times each side. Um, three or four times each pair, each, you know, each pair. Yeah. So, um, I, I've gone through brands that don't even exist any longer. And not, and, and not my, my experience is more vast than any, uh, anyone else, but I've just been at it for a long time, whether yeah. it's running around the mountains, climbing, you know, climbing mountains with ice and snow or rock or doing other mountaineering objectives to hunting. Uh, I've used stuff from Black Diamond, from Outdoor Research, from a handful of brands that didn't exist. Core Four Element uh, was involved in building the Gators for that. Yep. Uh, the Kings, Canatrack, every other brand, Stone Sitka. Glacier, Sitka. I've I've owned probably three or four different pairs from from Sitka. The Stone Glacier SQ2. I actually uh, was able to test one of their. I wasn't part of their testing team, but I got one of the early prototype models. Yep. And played around with that, and I just actually replaced that last year. Um, Peaks makes a really good gator that's real similar to the outdoor research. So, and then that's just tall gators. Uh, yeah. About uh, it wasn't really tall. I did a ton of trail running where I was using a lot of gators like of this size, where I do a lot of scrambling, where I'm I'm not necessarily I'm kind of mixing trails with with crossing mountains. So that was kind of some of you know some of the things I was doing for a long time. So I've played around with a lot of gators. Again, Outdoor Research makes a handful. There's a couple other, there's a little hippie brand in the outdoor industry that makes a real soft one like this for trail running specifically. Ultra has a little dinky trail running one that they used. Yeah. Um, First Light has them. Sitka, I've used the early First Light one, Sitka. Um, gosh, there's a handful of other brands that are the kind of no names. Uh, Salewa actually has one. Uh, so anyway, I've used a lot of gators. So what you're saying yeah. is, is you you've used a bunch of gators over the last thirty. Years. Let's we'll call it thirty years. So I and I don't necessarily, <laughs> I don't. I think there's you know I I've I've often looked at how can I make a better gator. Yeah. I've never had the ability to to you know outside of one one experience the core for element be involved with this. When I first saw the crispy gators uh, a couple months ago, I was um, pretty dang excited. I kind of heard whisperings and yeah. you guys had talked to me a little bit, uh, but I hadn't really seen any prototypes. So yeah. it's, my, you know, there's plenty of guys that, that hunt like in Alaska or, or, you know, Pacific Northwest that wear gators from the start of the season to the end of the season. Sure. I'm not that guy, sure. but I do mix and match between lower and upper. Yep. And I probably wear gators I would say 20 to 25 days a year um, hunting. Yeah. And if I'm hunting, let's say 35, 40 days a year, I'm probably wearing gators 70% of those days. Yeah, yeah, no, that's great. Uh, tell me a little bit about, so you, we got you got your hands on this gator, mm -hmm. um, and you were wearing, I believe, the Laponia Light. That's correct, yep. Right. So with this new, new gator, there's some new innovation uh, that's really exciting to get out to the market. Uh, what was your experience when you first opened up this gator and saw uh, how this might attach and, um, you know, that strap, right? Like the, the, the strap is basically the component that 
we hear a lot of that fails, mm -hmm. right? We know that that fails. There's a couple other parts, but the strap strapping usually fails. So with that particular boot, that Laponia Light, you're able to wear this gaiter, uh, the Corto and the Alto, without a strap. So walk me through that process of seeing that and, and what did you think? Like, was it like, oh, that's cool or <laughs> rad or eh, like... So I was super stoked, and the reason why, well, a few reasons why. Number one, the fabric is super stretchy, yeah. um, and I'll tell you why that matters in just one moment. Um, it, you know, I've played around with it with a little bit of water on it. It's DWR treated. I'm not expecting, I'm not asking this this gator to keep me dry. Right. Um, I do expect it to keep, like, just dirt and soil and sticks just and other stuff, out. all that stuff out. Yeah. And I, since I'm tall, there's a lot of times that manufacturers of pants don't make pants that are tall enough for me. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I'm using a small, a small gator like this one more out of the necessity of just trying to keep, like, stuff out of my pants or to keep a little bit of moisture from the morning dew off my socks and stuff like that. So I will sometimes run the, the pant inside, sometimes I run it outside, kind of condition depending. Um, if I know I'm going through a lot of tall grass, I'll run it, I'll run it on the outside because I, I expect that the grass is going to get wet higher up on the pant. And if I've got my pants tucked in, it's going to run down the bottom, you know, through my pants, down in my socks and inside my boot, which is obviously what we don't want to see happen. Right. But So the fabric, I was really psyched on how soft pretty darn quiet i expect this is going to get quiet over time and yep. the stretch of this fabric i've there's some gators like the original first light gator um and i haven't worn those recently it was really similar in fabric i really like that the ascent gator from sitka the early one they did and then the, the most recent one that they had uh the early one didn't actually open in the center you actually had to put it over. you had to pull it over your sock yeah you, and then put your boot on it was such a pain in the rear <laughs> And I actually had a guy uh, tweak mine and, and made a bunch of changes to them for me so I could utilize them in a different way. And he changed the whole output, but that's that's for another story. But the uh, the fabric was super awesome. The reason why that, well, and then the connection. I mean, the ability to connect into those loops on the back of the Laponia light. I could also do on my Laponias. Um, just trying to think of the other the Aldrin, boots. The Baldrys. Brickstall Mountain, Brickstall, mm. any of the Brickstall boots. You know, if I would love to see those little hooks on the, uh, on the, the Tiva Mid. I yeah. think, you know, this, this for a run and gun early archery season is amazing. And then one thing that kind of shocked me a little bit was the, the you, this is just standard, standard P-cord. Yep. I mean, it's a little bit better. There's a lot of cheap P-cord out there. This is, yeah. this seems a little bit more durable and beefy, but then I immediately like click to, if this thing fails, I don't care because I've already got P-Cord in my pack. Sure. Every time I hunt, I've got some P-Cord. So if if I'm not using one of those boots I've just described, let's say I'm using, I don't know, even another some, brand, right? Let's say, yeah. like, because we, you know, at Black Coast, we sell all sorts of different brands. Um, Crispy's our, our best brand and our biggest brand. That's what we most love to push. But let's say a guy's running a pair of Solomons. Same thing. Like, if that part fails, no big deal. It's going to fail. They all fail at some point. Yeah. But if that part fails, dude, just pull out your knife, pull out your P-cord, cut a new piece, slip it in, you're off to the races again. Yeah. So regardless of whether, whether I'm wearing the Ativa Mid or I'm wearing the, the Laponia Light, Laponia, but that that interface of connecting through was was pretty rad. So what I did is I actually pulled the P-cord. Instead of re removing the P-cord entirely, I just pulled it up so it, just, it basically had a home inside the gator. Because I also wanted – I thought it was pretty awesome because I could rely upon – the ability that if if by some weird chance yep. those hooks on my boot failed or this connector Velcro failed, which I didn't anticipate it would, and I don't think it would. I really don't think it's going to. Um, but if those failed, I have a backup system. And in, in any other gator, you don't have a backup system. When that bottom fails, you're, yeah, yeah. you're SOL, man. So the, those were pretty awesome. And back to the fabric. The other cool thing I really loved was because this fabric's so stretchy, like like I, you know, I'm not dissing on the the Sitka Ascent Gator. I have like four of them at home. I bought a bunch of them because it's been the one I, I favor the most. And I do like the camo. Is when you're putting it on, you really have to yard on the on the hook to get it onto the uh, the shoelace, and then kind of yard it around because the fabric somewhat it's pretty stiff around that bottom. And so, you know, is it impossible? No. Is it kind of a pain in the rear? 60% yes. But the cool thing about this, the, the Corto was 
I didn't even have to worry about it. I just put the Velcro together and because the fabric was so stretchy, I was then able to like pull and stretch the gator out onto, onto the, uh, as far as I wanted to go on the laces. Boom. Easy. So it was probably the easiest short gator to put on outside of that wimpy little ultra one that they made for trail running shoes, yeah. which has no place in the hunting world. So <laughs> It it, yeah. it that's why the fabric was like duly impressive to me, and that's why the gator, like my you know when I put it on, I went scouting. I, I did I did thirty miles, twenty nine point eight miles in three days. Um, you know, started around eighty five hundred, slept at twelve two, slept at twelve four, ran some ridges, went through some creeks, everything that you would do. I wore them the entire time, pants tucked in. I was wearing the De Havilland light pant from Stone Glacier. I never took them off. I all at the end of the day, I'd slip into my tent. I would actually just undo undo the velcro like I just did, undo the buckle at the top, and then undo my laces and leave the the gator attached to the boot. Yeah, because it's already attached. so easy. Yeah, it's like super slick. Wake up, slip the feet in, lace them up. Gator goes on. I'm off to the races again. So, I mean that that's a lot to unpack there. But that I was wicked impressed. And you know, my first my first call, honestly, when I came back from from hunting or from scouting, was to my hunting partner. And you know, first thing he asked me was, "Do you see any deer?" I was like, "Yes," but <laughs> you need to get your hands on a pair of these gators because yeah. they're, they're a game changer. Yeah, so that's awesome. he uh, he was pretty psyched when I showed him to him. That's great. And talking about that fabric, you know, you were talking about the miles that you put on, <clears throat> and a lot of times we hear from guys that you know gators and my legs sweat makes my pants wet and everything um it's particular with this corto it's nice and light and as you were saying it's extremely breathable yeah so did you sure. run into any hot issues with this did, did it did it meet your expectation i guess uh, and what you were hoping for when you're out running those miles and up in the hills so there's no doubt about it, it you know it does breathe but I am, it is warm. Anytime you tuck your pants into, it's gonna into your, into a gator, you're going to be warmer. So that's why sometimes I will opt to run the, the pant on the outside, not just from a, Hey, these pants are short, like the old, you know, Sitka's ascent pant or the apex pant they used to make. Um, the 34 tall is not that tall. <laughs> and I'm not, I mean, I'm six, four, but my inseam's 34, but it was, it was not appropriate. So I would wear those on the outside a lot because even if I tucked it in, it would pull out. Pull out yeah. But anytime I've tucked in a pant, I do get more sure. more heat. But it was not like it was not troublesome. Let's yeah, say that's and that's good. and that's exactly what I was looking for. I was a I was willing to trade increased warmth for this bomb proofness of not getting stuff inside. Yeah, inside. I was probably of those thirty miles. I was probably twelve of those was on a trail. We're on twelve of those were on a trail. My my bad. Um, so that, you know, fabric was super good. I know that there's going to be occasions where this fabric can rip. Like I, I can guarantee it's going to happen. Um, this is, you know, when you're, when you're trying to balance like, like stretch and lightweight and breathable uh, with durability, you're, something has to give. Sure. Like you increase durability, you add Cordura or you, you know, create less spandex and maybe more, a higher D or a higher weight fabric, like, you know, like going from like one, 150 GSM to, you know, 250 or two, yeah, 275 sure, sure. with some added like ripstop. All those things are going to decrease the stretch, going to increase the durability, decrease breathability. So, you know, it, nothing's going to be the perfect. I, I could see guys that are antelope hunting, mule deer hunting, like I'm doing, um, even bird hunters that are kicking through, yeah. you know, they're not in tall grass, but some of that cheat grass and their stuff. Um, I think those guys, those kind of hunters are going to absolutely like flat out love this, particularly if they're running crispy. And and even if you're not running crispy, I still think this is one of the better short gaiters I've ever worn uh, in the limited experience I have had with it. And if you're running crispy and you can attach it, lights out. Don't even like, don't even look anywhere else, <laughs> quite frankly. Nice. Let's, let's jump over real quick. I know you haven't ran this yet because it's, it's early season, so you're running mm -hmm. primarily yep. that gator. But I know you've reviewed it. You've looked over the Alto. So uh, if you wouldn't mind, let's take a few minutes and talk a little bit about this, uh, and particularly about the material, because you know we spent a lot of time looking and thinking and trying to come up with uh, a material that, A, would be uh, – that would fit well, mm -hmm. uh, that would – allow the, some flexibility and stretch as you're, you're hiking, you got pants underneath it. Um, 
and everybody has different size calves. And so we, we wanted it to be waterproof and breathable, you know, everything we could do. So we spent some time trying to figure out uh, the upper material and then the lower material. We wanted to be as, you know, abrasion resistant mm -hmm. and bomb proof mm -hmm. as, as we could could uh could do that um so i know you've looked through it and you've you've kind of talked a little bit about these gators but tell me a little bit about what your your thoughts are on the makeup of this uh particular gator this alto and what stands out to yep. you you know from the straps to the you know everything about it so just impressions overall um it's got enough stiffness, let's say, or structure. I would say not stiffness, enough structure in this lower that that I I like a gator that's that's got a little more sh like structure in the bottom. I want it to be wicked durable. You can't accomplish that. I mean, it's, particularly if you're running crampons, which I mean, the only time I've ever run crampons hunting is is in Alaska when you're running yeah, up like sure. the stupid steep brush, and you've been there yeah. like on Kodiak. Yeah. I was on the main on the mainland, but um, you you have to have that protection. Even in shale and other stuff like that, you know, you're going to have a cordura at the bottom. Yep. That's just inevitable. Any other gator that, that tells you otherwise is, is you know, they're kidding themselves when it comes to, like, durability where you're really hitting some of those, like, you know, sharp shale rocks. I do like this, the uh, the ripstop pattern on the inside. Even just from a visibility standpoint, that tells me, man, okay, this is bomber. The cool thing about this upper, it's like a woven... It's like a stretch woven that's got a laminate inside. Mm -hmm. So it's really soft, surprisingly yep. so. The outside, not so soft. It would almost be interesting if you reverse this fabric. <laughs> I mean, I'm not telling you how to build your gator. But this, how soft this inner is, it gives me the sense of this is, this is going to breathe and or this is not loud and or this is going to stretch different than, than other gators I've, I've used in the past. The outer is not loud, but it's not also like wicked stuff. You look at the Thunderhead. I think it was the Thunderhead Gator that the Sitka built a few years ago. It was intended to be used more in like the whitetail world, yep. but they made it in subalpine. It was brushed, so it had a brushed face. It was a little heavier. Yep. Wicked soft, yeah. right? Yeah. Super soft. Yep. Then you look at like the Stone Glacier or the Peaks uh, Glacier. You know the Peaks um, Gator. Both of those are very loud. They're they're you know they're not hiding like quietness. This this fabric is kind of that really an in-between, yeah. I would say. Um, again, it's a woven fabric. It's got some stretch to it. Pretty interesting. The buckle system on the top looks like a Duraflex bu it's buckle. It's a Duraflex for sure. Yeah, solid. I mean, the only brand in buckles. Yeah. Um, the Velcro is beefy. The hook and loop. Um, and then again, back to the whole idea. I mean, the the the, the reality that even, you know, I, I just bought a brand new pair of, uh, of Stone Glacier gator stuff you know upgrade the ones that, I, that i'd used um and you know the they have a pretty cool system that you can replace but you know this this is like so easy yeah like to replace easy, this easy. this is gonna break this is gonna probably fail at some point you know i know i know you guys were saying that you used like a really high quality producer of this particular product that's, that's right. made here in the usa um this this particular piece that goes under your boot uh very very durable this will It'll likely break, break yeah. right? Re but the, the reality is, is I can replace this like so fast um, that I think this gator is worth considering regardless of whether you're running a crispy that can attach to the quick, these, these boot like permanent attachments. But for most of the guys that are running, you know, gators like in up in, you know, you, you got the Brickstall, Brickstall Pro Series, all the Brickstall family has yep. those lubes. Yep. Most of those boots are going into sheep and, and goat country. Yep. But if you're running a guide or a hunter, totally, you, you could. I think. I think the. I think this. And I'm trying. You know. I'm. I'm. There's a lot of good gators out there. I think this is worth considering, even if you don't have a connection. But if you're ever going to get into another, you know, crispy. Let's say you own a, a Nevada. Sure. And you're going to, you know, at some point you might get into a, you know, Brickstall Mountain. Yeah. Which is kind of my, in my sense, like the. It's like the synthetic, more breathable version of the nevada right highly comfortable highly versatile well suddenly you've got a gator that interfaces with that if you do bounce over and expand your yeah. quiver so i think this gator's worth this is from a retailer standpoint sure i think this gator's worth considering regardless of the brand you're running but if you're running crispy and you ever want to get into a booth that has connectors it's um it's a well-built gator so yeah. sorry that's a no, it's great. I went on and on but there's, no. there's a lot of interesting <clears throat> observations here and then you've got you know this material at the top, they've got a little bit of like that, that grippy rubber, rubber grip. Yeah. You know, I think you know you could 
this is this is a maybe a little big, but I don't know. I mean, I'm not designing this stuff like you guys are, so maybe you could make that a little less bulky. But if that's that's being super nitpicky, it it's super clean, it's tight, it looks good, and let's face it, most guys are not gonna admit that uh, half the reason they buy stuff is because it looks cool. This is a cool looking gator. Yeah. Like this is <clears throat> this is one that you put it on and people are gonna go, whoa, what are you running? Yeah, it's got the crispy uh yeah, it got NASCAR it. stripe. And yeah, you got the, the billboard on the yeah. side. That's kind of cool. The same thing that's on a couple of the pieces. <laughs> on the it's it's yeah. subtle. It's not black. It's not light. Yeah. Um, well, I think it's a good gator. You know, when we were designing this gator, you know, I appreciate you bringing up the point about, you know, the strap and the strapless because a lot of our customers have multiple pairs of crispy boots. Mm -hmm. Some of them will have it and some of them true, won't true. have the ability to do this. So we wanted to make something that was functional that I could wear it with my Nevadas and then uh, I could wear it with my Laponias on uh, Spring Bear. Totally. Know, my Laponia 3s. Yeah, and, totally. and I don't need to have this strap, but when I'm when I'm chasing uh, elk or something high elevation, I could I could run my Nevadas or guides or whatever, sure. and use that strap. So we wanted to be uh, aware of that and, and try to implement that here uh, in a way that we thought was best to to fit for everybody. Like you said, easy in and out on this Velcro. Uh, I was showing you earlier. I even run it so I can keep my Velcro strap. You can even tuck it here. Oh, on the inside, on the inside yeah. of your Velcro, uh, or yeah, put it in your pack. Either way, put it in your pack. But like, it's it's pretty simple uh, to keep it. So, um, anyway, we're we are super stoked to get this Gator out into the market, um, and we think it's going to be a game changer. We know it is, uh, and that uh, guys that are running, you know, members of the Brickstall family or Laponia, uh, or even the Mesa. Or gonna, the Valdres. Or the Valdres are going to love. Dude, the Valdres is such a sleeper in your life. <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is the most underrated, is. overlooked boot in the entire crispy line. I, we'll have to have you back and talk about the Valdres. Especially with here. the new Valdres 2, like yeah. the upgrade in the midsole and sole. It's absolutely like just a mountain stomper. I yeah. think it's awesome. It's an awesome boot. So that, I mean, this That'll boot with the Valdres, perfect. like... Yeah. Perfect Forget it. it. You're going to take over the, you know, the Intermountain West. Anyway, uh, we, we really appreciate you coming down and spending some time with you. We yeah, always, you bet. Always love to pick your brain and, and learn from you. And uh, uh, this gator is really going to change the world. So if you're looking to pick up a new gator as the seasons are, are kicking off, uh, look no further than that crispy gator. If you have any questions about this gator, don't hesitate to give us a ring here at Crispy. Thanks. Thanks, Matt.